Talk to you, rookie minicamp, and, and here we are toward the tail end of minicamp. How do you think you've grown? Um, I'll just say just my everyday approach is going in and trying to learn as much as possible, whether that's from the coaches, the vets, um, and on the practice field, you know, learning um, and just gradually competing every day. What's been the most challenging adjustment for you going from the college game to the pro game? Because you've had several practices under your belt. Yeah, I'll just say just the, the learning curve of going out there and learning how to be a pro. Um, I know I said that previously in minicamp that I just want to learn how to go out there and be a pro. And that's, that's probably the, the biggest gap for me is learning how to be a pro, uh, having a routine, the playbook, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to soak up as much knowledge as possible. A lot of guys keep saying, I get here at 630 and Jaden's already here. So what time are you getting here? <laughs> and what are you doing in the morning when you get here? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of I get here around like 545 um, and just like walking through in the bubble. Um, in the indoor, um, you know, watching film and stuff like that, but just trying to prepare myself for the day. Um, it's kind of just that routine that I had um, when I was in college, but now I'm, I'm in there actually walking through because I'm not, um, I'm still learning the, the playbook and, and trying to grasp everything. So just being comfortable for the day um, and being ready to go out there and, and go out and compete at practice. Are you by yourself when you're doing that? Yeah. And then what, is there, what's the Oh, biggest? no, no, I me and Luke McCaffrey. What's the biggest, th where is the biggest jump you feel you've made from rookie to now, rookie minicamp? Um, I would just say as you rep more things, uh, obviously you start getting a grasp of the playbook, but I mean, I still got a long way to go to, to still um, be where I want to be, try to try to perfect it, uh, try to be a perfectionist uh, as much as possible. Having been out here and, and really working with Cliff, what has that been like for you? Uh, it's been great. Just the, the offensive mind Cliff is, the type of coach he is. Um, and how he can scheme things up. Um, you know, he has a very quarterback-friendly uh, offense uh, just for everybody in that room to go out there and be able to, to learn it, um, go out there and, and compete at a high level uh, practice day. It's not something that you go out there, you, you know, you're, you're worrying about, man, what is this, what is that? Um, Cliff does a great job of just going out there and trying to make it as easy as possible, not on the quarterback, but the whole offense, um, so we can go out there and play fast. With some of the veterans on the defense, like guys like Bobby Wagner, I mean, how much are you – their brains when you're there. Uh, a lot. I mean, I talk to them all the time. Just um, what did they see? Um, why did they do this? Why did you? What did you see from this? What made you check to this? Um, stuff like that. But I mean, that just comes with the with the the game. You know, you're trying to soak up as much knowledge as possible. And you know, you got guys like Bobby um, that have been playing at a high level for a very long time. So um, as much as I could be around them and, and pick their brain, you know, I'm willing to do that. Hey, Jay, you said uh, Luke McCaffrey's out there with you. How did that pair come together? Did you guys just decide you wanted to get there early? Um, yeah, I mean, it just started from probably rookie minicamp. Uh, Luke asked me what, what I was doing. He sent me up early one day, told him, um, and he showed up ever since. And you said you obviously have still some work to do out here. What specifically are you kind of trying to still work through? Is it the playbook or just the, the – Man, the everything, everything. Um, playbook. Um, Timing up the drops uh, with the concepts, uh, just expanding my football knowledge um, to go out there so um, you know I can finish off um, mini camp strong, uh, go back, go um, put in the work, and you know get ready for training camp to come out here and uh, help the team get better in uh, any way possible. You mentioned training camp after tomorrow. You have kind of six weeks off. Have you started to think about how you balance time off, mental, physical, as you get ready for training camp? Uh, nah, I mean, I've been in football mode, man. Um, mini camp, OTA, rookie mini camp now, mandatory mini camp. Um, all I know is I'm going to go back to Southern California, go train my, my uh, quarterback coach down in Huntington Beach um, and, and get ready for the season, get ready for training camp, um, and put myself in the best position out there to, to come out here and just compete with the guys and, and have fun. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I know um, that we, we we talked about it. Um, obviously, Marcus talked about it a lot. Um, so we'll figure something out. Uh, there's no fine print, no no details on that, but we'll figure something out. Back to the morning sessions for a second. Nick Allegretti said he prides himself on being one of the first in there, and he walks in and you're there. So how does that translate what you're doing in the bubble to here? Are you are you feeling that's that's making a lot of sense to you? Yeah, 100 um, percent. The work that you put in is the work that you're gonna, you know, give out. Um, and if you really wanna, really wanna be successful, you wanna learn, you wanna be.
be be a pro at the highest level. You know, you got to take knowledge of, of people, uh, learn from their routines, what will help them be successful. Obviously, Nick, you know, he was with the Chiefs and what they did over there. Um, so he gets here early, man, and um, I'm always an early guy. Um, I kind of learned that one was at LSU, and, you know, now I took it here. Um, it's still trying to tweak it a little bit, but I still got a long way to go. Coach told us yesterday we have the tape of the first pitch. We haven't quite <laughs> used it yet, but it's in our back pocket. Do you expect at some point you're going to see that as a rookie? Um, I mean, it's already on social media, so it's not really a, <laughs> the tape. Um, blame that guy right there. Uh, he touched the baseball. Uh, Sam Hartman helped me warm up. So, um, yeah, I blame them. How many plays or pages of the playbook have you had to learn? I don't even have a number for that, honestly. Um, it's not too lengthy, but, you know, it's an NFL playbook for sure. When you say it's a quarterback-friendly offense, what does that mean to you? Yeah, um, I mean, going out there and putting not just myself, but everybody in the best best position to be uh, successful, you know, playing to a guy's strengths. Obviously, we're installing, um, you know, the base offense, base game plan, but, you know, Cliff wants us to go out there and be successful at the end of the day. He doesn't want it. It's not, oh, we need to do this his way. You know, we all have uh, input of, of what we like and uh, how we think we should run that. He always asks for it. All right, come talk to him. Um, he's an open book, man. He, you know, he wants to be successful. Jaden, when you're out there, have there been any specific moments, whether it's mini camp or OTAs prior to that, where you've been like, whoa, this is, this is faster, this is harder? Um, I mean, not at the top of my head for sure. Um, I'll probably say uh, today, you know, messing with and playing around, going against the defensive ones, and, you know, you see uh, Deron Payne, John Allen, uh, Clee, all those guys are in the backfield real fast. Um, and, you know, obviously those guys in you know, Pro Bowls and, and stuff like that um, played at the highest level for a long time. So seeing those guys, but, man, uh, just being out there and to be able to compete um, against those guys and, you know, push myself, put the, push the offense and also push them uh, to go out there and keep competing each and every day. And then it, it seems like you're always smiling. How much fun are you having out there? Oh, uh, man, a ton. Um, it's something I dreamt about since uh, I was a kid. Um, be able to come out here and just uh, have the blessings to go out there and play football at the highest level. Um, you know, you can't take it for granted because it could be done at any moment. Jane, you've talked a lot about what the adjustments have been like being a pro on the field with the playbook. What's it been like? I know we've seen you out at the Nats. You're out at the soccer game at Commander's Field this past week. What's it been like, you know, all the stuff that comes with being the, the star quarterback in Washington now? How has it been adjusting to that, uh, you know, being in here in this market? Um, I mean, I, I ain't a star quarterback. Yeah, I got a long way to go. I'm a rookie um, to answer that. But um, just – Coming out here and just being able to experience different things. Like, that was my first time throwing out a first pitch. That was my first time going to the soccer game and just seeing the atmosphere and seeing uh, different sports um, and be able to just go out there and support them, uh, you know, coming into a new town, a new community, um, and be able to go out there and support, um, and, you know, showing them love. So when our season come around, you know, uh, the players at the Nationals game or, you know, people on the Team USA for soccer want to come to a game, you know, they can, they can come show love too. And what's it been like getting to interact with the Washington fans? What have you been hearing from them? What's kind of been your message to them when you're meeting them out, out in the public? Um, I mean, everybody um, is telling me good luck, you know, um, praying for a good season. Um, you know, obviously they're excited. They're excited with a uh, new regime out here. You know, obviously what Adam and DQ are doing. Um, and it's going to be fun. You know, Mr. Harris, um, you know, it's just a – a breath of fresh air for, for those fans. So I know they're excited to come out here and, uh, and see us compete in training camp. Um, you know, we're excited to go out there and compete for them. Take three more. Hey, Jaden, having guys like Zach Ertz and Austin Eckler, who's been in the league for a long time, what are those guys doing to help you as you get go through your, you know, rookie uh, offseason so far? Um, huge help. Uh, another set of eyes. You know, they've seen them a lot. Um, and, you know, having those guys, it's not just – just for me, but, you know, for Marcus and for Jeff, for Sam, is uh, having those guys that, that know the game of football, know coverages, and, you know, uh, you don't have to be out there and try to make every play by yourself, man. Uh, if you don't like it, man, check it down to Eckler. You know, let him do what he, what he does. And uh, obviously he's a very good receiver, and you got a, 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 a QB-friendly tight end in Zach that's, that's very smart, very uh, intentional what he does uh, with his round running. And, you know, they're, they're very friendly. Um, 
and you know they they love the game of football too, so it's, it's a big help for all of us. Jaden, there's a lot of expectation or anticipation of what you might mean for this franchise and this from this fan base. Do you feel any added pressure because of that? No, nah, not at all. Um, I'm just out here just doing my job. Um, you know, how can I help the team get better each and every day? Um, and that's, that's what I'm focused on. I'm focused on learning, focused on going out here, uh, keep competing every day and, and having fun, you know, bringing uh, that energy and that joy and that competitiveness to, to the team, which DQ and them preach all the time. Um, you know, we want to compete in everything that we do. Um, so I'm out here just trying to do my job. Um, that's getting, that's a 1 11th again, the 11 people on my side of the ball to go the same direction. Jaden, I noticed the basketball that's down by the field. I was actually just curious, what is the routine that you do with the basketball? Out of curiosity. Um, Explain in like great detail, actually. Yeah, um, I mean, to, to sum it up, it's, you know, different sports, different, different type of field, um, you know, shooting a basketball, you know, you have a basketball in your hand. Once you, you're you done with that and you pick up a football, the football feels smaller. So um, just integrating that, you know, um, when you're shooting a basketball, uh, I don't know if everybody's a shooter, but, you know, you're flicking the wrist motion. Um, it's kind of the same thing for the football. You get a little spiral. You know, you got to flick your wrist in, in different in different uh, ways. So that's a, di a different way to warm up my wrist. Where did you learn that from? Like, why did you start incorporating? Yeah, I mean, I've been doing that for a while. Uh, I've been doing that since I was a – junior high school. Um, so that's something I just kept with me the whole time. Appreciate it, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.